Good afternoon, our dear viewers, and welcome to this UCU News Focus English Bulletin. I am Masia Tonjere, and first we shall have the news headlines. The Uganda Christian University, in conjunction with Mukono Municipality, hold an outreach on awareness of people's labor rights. Betty Namboze asks government to treat Muslims fairly. The government chief whip asks government to include matters day in the national budget. And in the sports news, the Lady Cardinals emerge as champions. And now, the news in details. Uganda Christian University, in conjunction with the Mukono Municipality, has held an outreach on awareness of people's labor rights. Julio Emmanuel has more details on this story. Uganda Christian University, in conjunction with Mukono Municipal Council, has held an outreach activity on the rights of workers. We are doing it today, reaching out to the community. I believe it's something that we all wait for that is going to change the community. For us as leaders, we believe that you can only be relevant to the community if you are being there actually results in an improvement and a change of, change of the livelihood of our people. Uh, we found out that one of the areas was uh, the knowledge about occupational health and safety among the artisans was low and their appreciation of uh, occupational and safety knowledge uh, was high for those that we spoke to. Uh, we shared our concept with the, our managers the, at, 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 at the faculty and they accepted it. So then we had to now start looking for how we can partner with our stakeholders and that's how we ended up working with the municipal council and the district. When you hear them from the host's mouth, it creates a bigger impact than when you listen from the lecturers. So it has changed me. It has made me realize things are real. It's not just about theory and what. Today, Uganda Christian University Mukono, in conjunction with Mukono Municipal Council, have held an outreach under the theme Creating Sustainable Awareness on Occupational Safety and Health, which was intended to help the Mukono community to know their rights at work. Reporting for UCU Focus, Burio Emmanuel Nobo. The government chief whip Ruth Nankawira has asked government to make provisions of Matters Day celebration on the national budget. Timothy Waswa reports. In her speech at this year's Matters Day celebrations at Namugongo, government chief whip Ruth Nankawira, who also doubled as chief organizer of the Anglican event, has asked the government to start financing the annual feat. When I propose that government takes it over, not in terms of organization, but in terms of budgeting for funds as a contribution, that is exactly what I mean. To cater for the many people who have come, not only from within the country, but even those who have come from outside the country. She also says that the proposed government funding will contribute to the development of the place, as has been planned for. And this is the mission and the vision of the late uh, Archbishop of Uganda, uh, Dr. Mpala Nikoyoyo. His plan and his, his, his mission is what we are implementing. He even uh, gave us the shape of the hotel. It will be in the shape of the drums. A century and three decades later, those who are executed are celebrated by Christians annually on Matters Day for standing firm in their faith even in the face of brutal deaths. Their courage and boldness is immortalized here at the Uganda Matters Museum in Namugongo, a concrete reminder of how powerful belief in an idea can be. I'm Waswa Timothy, reporting for UCU Focus. Thank you, Timothy Waswa, for that report. Mukono MP, Betty Namboze, has asked government to treat Muslims fairly. She makes these remarks at the Eid celebrations at the mosque Atik in Mokono. It is a time to celebrate the fasting season. In this year's Eid celebration, Mukono MP Betty Namboze called upon the government to show fairness to Muslims. Quite very unfair for the state to treat Muslims separately, to punish them in a, a more harsh way than they punish other people. Like the example I gave, Abu Duchitata is 
being charged of possessing firearms. But of course, Kaihura has bigger, big offenses, one over them, working with a neighboring country to destabilize the country. You would think that those are very grave offenses. He's out on bail, yet he was the one who was using the chitata. All of us used to see them together. We are not saying that Muslims should be allowed to commit offenses, but let the law act equally. However, Count Sheikh Mohammed takes issue with the MP's politicization of ED. Saba atelezem, alimeku metabantu nziro, alimeku teka kuchi ntu chilala, wabula atukule embele, nga atukule embele abulu unji mwenkanya. Other Muslim leaders brought out the point of peace and unity among Muslims. We must be with peace, must learn each other, must learn the, the neighbors, must learn the, the people who are near him, must learn each and everybody. Gifts were exchanged among us some Muslims, and later a feast was held for the poor. As Muslims celebrate Eidi, Mukono Atik mosque leaders urge Muslims to be united and emulate the, the values that they've had during the Ramadan season. Acheng Cynthia for UKCC Focus. Thank you, Cynthia Acheng. And in the sports news, the UCU Lady Cardinals emerge as champions in the FUFA Women's Elite League. Anaya Ayenzaviona was at the scene and now reports. The UCU Lady Cardinals have defeated the Lady Doves by two goals to new to become champions of 2018-2019 season of FUFA Women Elite League. UCU secured an early lead when Hasfa Nasuna netted a free kick in the 37th minute and then after Captain Maureen Kinavdoli sealed the victory with the second goal. <laughs> The Lady Cardinals further scored a triple victory when their striker Hasfa Nasuna won both the Most Valuable Player and the Top Scorer Award of the season. And this award goes to Hasfa Nasuna of Muslim Cardinals with 14 goals. However, everyone is quick to add that this victory would not be possible without their former coach Peter Sebrime, who died just two weeks to the end of the season. But unfortunately, he's not with us. We are feeling sorry for the family and the team as well, but nothing to do. The modern game has four aspects to it, um, but one of them uh, being psychology. So we turned the negative part of losing coach Peter into a positive to drive us forward and has kept us going until this far. The UCU Lady Cardinals merged out as champions of FUFA Elite League 2018-2019 after a score of 2 to nil goals against Lady Doves. Anna Ainzabiona reporting for UCU Focus, Mukono. Thank you, Anaya, for that report. That is all we had for you in today's news broadcast. For this and more, follow us on our UCU Focus platforms. Up next, we shall have the current affairs segment. I am Masia Tonjer. Stay tuned. Our dear viewers, with us here we have the sports administrator of Uganda Christian University and uh, he will introduce himself to you. Hello, I am Lukaire David Samuel. Okay. Yes, uh, Mr. David is uh, almost like a coach of the UCU and uh, we had something very exciting that uh, we won as Uganda Christian University and he will tell you more information about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the best news right now is about winning the Women Elite League, which is known as the FUFA Women Elite League that runs uh, this season 2018-2019 was won by UCU. So that's great news. It might be the only university that ever won it, and that may be the only university that would ever win it. So right now we're in our jolly moods. Quite. Uh, 
quite jolly. So do we see any other league or maybe championship going to happen soon? Uh, we a lot of in, concerning football, a lot of tournaments happen. Uh, although one of them were knocked out early this year, as I think in March, which is the women, uh, what we call the Uganda Women Cup. Uh, were knocked out by Kawempe, whom we knocked out in the semi-finals of the playoffs to win the league. So, yeah, uh, right now the only thing we can look up to is uh, the University of Football League. That's, that's likely to happen come September during the advanced semester. So if it does happen, then possibly that will be, we'll be starting the new season, but also to give us a chance to be in a new competition for something to look up to. Something greater. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we we had a student that won two awards, is it? Yes. Yes, uh, this is uh, Hasfa. Hasfa Nasona. Nasona, yes. Mm. Which uh, which awards did she get? Uh, she won top scorer uh, with 14 goals in regular season and two goals in the playoffs, which makes it 16. Uh, she also won uh, MVP, most valuable player of the season. So, yeah, she made us proud. Okay, so uh, regarding sports yes. in Uganda Christian University, especially for the women, mm -hmm. because there are quite very many girls that do not really love to go into football. They say it's a men's sports or something. What advice would you give them? Actually, I, I would I would just want to encourage them to join in a sport. Women's sport is kind of fair compared to men. Men almost everyone has potential and aggressive but women you all also at the same balance all you need is a few tips here and there and you improve easily so i would encourage most women to to join sports and even if it's not in the mainstream sport just to join an activity that will keep them possibly healthy uh, give them a little bit of exercise through the day which may help them relax their minds and everything so i would encourage all our students to practice to do some sports activity okay well you all had it from the sports administrator. Thank you very much for Welcome. coming here. Well, you had it all from Mr. Lukaile, the sports administrator of Uganda Christian University. This is all we had for you for this week's current affairs. Thank you for watching UCU Focus. The Media Link Association has unveiled a 60 million shilling budget for their launch event. According to a document released by the association and signed by both the Media Link Chairperson and the Dean of Faculty of Journalism, about 60 million shillings will be spent on the dinner, which will take place at the Imperial Royal Hotel on the 21st of June this year. Association Chairperson has spoken to UCU Focus News about how the 60 million will be raised. We understand that the 75,000 that students are paying cannot really cater for everything that we, we believe can be there. So what we are doing is we are partnering with Next Radio and Vision Group. Those are the two sponsors that have so far confirmed. Others haven't confirmed yet. So the money that they give us is uh, the money that's going to cater for all the other expenses that we hope to, to, to incur. The mass communication MP Penelope Nankunda agrees with Mr. Tumani on the event's significance. Have the the students connect, network, and meet different media personalities that they look up to. So we have people like CEOs being invited. We have people such as uh, role models, major media personalities from as far as MTN Next Media is concerned. So it's for these students to, to, to go out there and sell themselves. After a five-year period of dormancy, the UCU Journalism Students Association is finally making a comeback with a launch that is to cost 60 million Ugandan shillings. But beyond the glitz and glamour of the Media Link Dinner Association, the question still stands. Will the association last this time round? I said a hope Constance reporting for UCU Focus.